Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to take a look at Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. Now this is a new mid-range phone from Samsung. We're gonna take a look at this phone today. As we can see from the thickness of the box, we only have the charging cable here and the SIM ejection tool. Also some paperwork. As you can see here, I have the version with 6 GB of RAM and 128 GB of storage. As you can see, the model number here is SMA536B. DS stands for DUOS, meaning this phone supports dual SIM cards. And the B means that this phone is the unlocked international version. Okay, so let's talk about the phone a little bit. This phone has the chipset Exynos 1280 nanometers, which is clocked at 2.4 GHz and Mali G68 GPU. We have a 6.5 inch display, which is 1080p and it has a refresh rate of 120 Hz and it goes up to 800 nits. The toughness of the display is Gorilla Glass 5. As you can see here, the phone started its life at Android 12 and you already know that on Android 12, most of the mid-range phones get the RAM Plus feature. So basically this phone has 6 GB of RAM, but with the RAM Plus option, we go up to 12 GB of RAM on this phone. As you can see here, PUBG and TikTok and YouTube are my most used apps on this phone. The phone has a quad camera setup here on the back with the main sensor being 64 megapixels with the aperture of 1.8. The secondary camera is 12 megapixels with an aperture of 2.2. We have a macro camera of 5 megapixels with the aperture of 2.4 and we have a depth sensor 5 megapixels with the aperture of 2.4. We have the capability to shoot in Full HD with 60 frames per second here on this phone. But I like the fact that Samsung included 60 frames per second on the selfie camera. And as you can see, we have a selfie camera of 32 megapixels with the aperture of 2.2. And clearly you see that we can record at 60 frames per second. So that's a nice touch on both sides, even on the main camera, even on the selfie camera, we, we can record up to 4K 30 frames per second, or we can go 1080p 60 frames per second. If you want a steady footage, you can always turn on this hand here, which is super steady, but that can record only at 1080p 30 frames per second. Here on more, we have some other options. We have the pro mode, pro video, night mode, macro shot, super slow motion, slow motion, etc. As you can see here on the camera, we have fun. Fun is basically like Snapchat, meaning that this phone has the optimization for posting on social networks, meaning that you won't lose the image quality when you post on Instagram or when you post a video on TikTok. Now, one other thing I want to mention about this phone is the battery capacity. It goes up to 5000 milliamperes. It's a big battery for a 6.5 inch phone and the battery life is great even when you play games. I play PUBG, you can easily play like three full games only with 10% of battery and that is very good. Also, this phone can support fast charging up to 25 watts. This is a photo with the macro camera. And as you can see, the image quality is very good. This is a photo with the 64 megapixel camera. The details are good too. This is a portrait shot captured with this phone and the depth sensor made a good job. The photos are very clear with this phone. Even night photos. This is a sample of the night photo. This is a time lapse that I did just setting the phone like this in my vehicle and you can see that it did a very good job i have i will post these videos on my other youtube channel you can go and check them there but the stabilization of the time lapse was very good i didn't expect this at all but as you can see here from the video the stabilization is very good I expected a lot of shaking when I was recording, but after I've 
seen the video also i recorded this video with this phone this is the s the s7 versus the note 5 i posted this video i think on my other youtube channel but the image quality on video it's very good even the camera the photos are very clear and I posted this photo on my Instagram and I didn't lose image quality. You can go and check there if you want. But overall, this is a good mid-range phone. The price might be expensive for the moment, but I think that the price will drop after a month or so. You can get A52s or A53. It is practically the same phone, but the A52s has a Snapdragon processor, while this one has an Exynos processor. I recommend both of these phones, even the A52s. And with that being said, I want to thank you for watching this video. I will see you on the next one. one.